Hi everyone, we are well underway into wedding season and I thought I would just focus in on one of the songs that we sing at the chuppah and that is Im Eshkachich Yerushalayim We cannot forget about Yerushalayim No simcha that we have, that we experience no matter how joyous and beautiful it is, is complete during the Gullus, during our feeling of exile that we don't yet have the base Hamigdash in Yerushalayim in Eretz Yisrael and that's why we break the glass, and that's where we sing Emesh Kachi Yerushalayim. And it always struck me that, you know, Hashem tells Avraham Avinu, Lech Lecha Me'artzecha And then he says, I'm going to send you, he doesn't tell you, he says, go out from where you came from, go out from your father's land. But he doesn't say where he's going, he just says, El Ha'aretz Asher And I once heard a beautiful explanation of this, El Ha'aretz Asher to the land that I will show you, means that Eretz Yisrael is fundamentally a land that you could only understand through experience. That's what Hashem is telling Avram, that to the land I will show you, because by definition, this land cannot be explained prior to being there. You need to see it, to believe it. You need to experience what it means to feel, to be in Eretz Yisrael, to be in the land. And without that experience, you cannot explain it. So perpetually, Eretz Yisrael, Yerushalayim, these are all experiences of Eretz Asher Arecha, that the land that I will show you because it is experienced through living there. And that's perhaps something, a message we could take also when we begin a marriage, when we enter into a committed relationship, when we enter into a uh, relationship we cannot understand and really fully know what it will be like after we are married because we're not married, that you cannot experience it, you don't know what it the, the, the beauty that it is, the, the work that it takes to put into it, you don't fully understand it until you're in it. And that is something that I think is important to remember as we enter into a marriage, as we make that commitment with Siyat HaDishmaya, with heavenly assistance, we will be able to build that bind by Islam and Yisrael. But re- know and recognize that you're entering into a new uncharted territory, a new land, one that is filled with bracha, one is filled with blessing, when there's one that's filled with tremendous potential, but it's a new beginning and you can't know what it will be like until you reach the other side. And how how special is that? How amazing is that? That unknown, that mysterious, and, and you know, give a bracha for everyone entering a new relationship, that they should find that beauty in it and experience what it means to raise a Jewish home by Islam and be Yisrael. This is an Amesh Kachich that I wrote a number of years ago. Oh, uh-huh.